Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. I'm still not sure what we're expecting to find down there. Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. It appears it doesn't wish to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. But then what? If it turns out to be a Reaper... Are we really going to offer an alliance? We're not gonna win this war by turning away help. Even if it does have blood on its hands. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. It's here. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. Possible? Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Yes, we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Cortez. Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. It would seem others have been stranded here as well. We aren't the first to encounter that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. How old these are? The bones are untouched by scavengers. If they rotted clean from humidity and exposure, it might take more than a year. Shepard, it's one of the artifacts. Explains why no one gets out of here.
Looks like a damaged atlas. Different, though, and it's not flying Cerberus colors. It may not be Cerberus technology at all. Regardless, it doesn't work. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked her right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. Why not have the Normandy pick us up? Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. I'm game. We chased Leviathan this far. Let's finish this. It's a long ways down. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I hear you. And time's wasting. Shepard. Perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. Are we seriously proposing? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? I suppose we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. I've got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in.
Commander, let's get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Shepard, I understand the reasons, but this is a big risk. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. I want to take a look around first. Come back when you're ready. Ready for a swim? Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. So far? Copy that.
Cortez? Cortez! Sure, if you can read me up there. Looks like I've finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is coming up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. indicates the probe is below my position. And for a way down. remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. Can't see anything just yet. I'm gonna keep moving.
glad to find you. This is not your domain. You have breached the darkness. You killed a Reaper. I need to know why. They are the enemy. One that seeks our extermination. But... I thought you were a Reaper. Then what are you? Something more. <coughs> Your mind belongs to me. Breathe. Anne? What's happening? You took down a Reaper. You could help win this war. Why the hell are you hiding down here? There's no war. There's only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. Standing in defiance against the Reapers. They perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. Before the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for. But we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it... Harbinger. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. Did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination is not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from our neighbors. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of bonds that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Do you know anything about... The device we're building. It's supposed to be a super weapon. We have watched 
finished its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays to speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. You release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. You're responsible for this. Every race that's ever been destroyed is because of you. And now the Reapers will destroy you too, unless you start fighting. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop, ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. I've earned it. Out there fighting where you should be. It's clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. No victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power.
Shepard! Goddess! She's freezing. Are you all right? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. What happened down there? We found it. It's real. A lot more than we ever imagined. So was it worth almost dying for? It was. We exposed it. Pushed it into the light. Whether it likes it or not, it's part of this war now. And it's gonna help fight. It sounds like an impressive accomplishment. Yeah. One for the history books. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. <laughs>